Hello everybody and thanks for watching. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Monday, November 2nd Wyoming Video Weather Outlook. A lot going on weather-wise here over the next few days. Finally some snow for the mountains and some hard freezing temperatures and a little bit of snow for the plains of the state. Let's take a look a little closer at what's coming our way. There'll be a lot happening over the next 48 hours across Wyoming, but these are the highlights we want to watch carefully. Snow in the western mountains through the next couple of days could be a foot or more in Wyoming's western mountains between now and Wednesday. Watch out for slick roads Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Interstate 80 in particular between Elk Mountain and Rock Springs is an area that we're watching for the potential for icy, snowy conditions overnight Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Then snow will translate to the southeast areas of the state, Cheyenne, Laramie, up to Wheatland and Douglas, over to Scotts Bluff and down to Denver, Wednesday afternoon through Thursday morning. Not a lot of snow, but enough to make travel a little tricky. Then be ready for hard freezing temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights. The coldest temperatures of the season coming those three nights. If you haven't cleaned out your sprinkling system, you better do so before Wednesday night. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery and it really tells the story nicely. We have an area of low pressure right here along the west coast that's bringing clouds and areas of rain and snow into western areas of Wyoming, Idaho, California. The Sierras are going to do well. A lot of cold air with this trough and you can see that right here. This cloud pattern over the Pacific water is an indication that that air is quite cold over the Pacific. The storm system is going to be working its way and taking a path like this with one part of the storm going north into Montana tonight and tomorrow. Montana is going to see significant snow tonight and Tuesday, while the southern branch of the low will impact southern and eastern areas of Wyoming later on Wednesday and into early Thursday. As we head into tonight and Tuesday morning, we want to watch out for mountain snow in Yellowstone Park, Grand Teton National Park. Watch out over Teton Pass as well as Togety Pass. These will be two areas tonight and Tuesday that will get slick. We're also watching out for some rain and snow shower activity later Tuesday that will develop across the I-80 corridor southwestern Wyoming down and around into Salt Lake City. One area we need to watch is right here. Overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday morning, there's going to be an area of snow along Interstate 80 from near Rollins and Elk Mountain west into Sweetwater County. So anybody that needs to travel Interstate 80 between Rollins and Rock Springs, watch out for some slick weather conditions as we could see a few problems there. Now, as we look at the time frame of going ahead into Wednesday into Thursday morning, scattered snow showers will be found just about everywhere as cold air moves in. The area that we need to watch will be right here. It looks like southeastern Wyoming late Wednesday afternoon and evening in the blue shaded area is going to be looking at developing snow and freezing temperatures. While we're not expecting snowfall to be heavy, I-25 and Interstate 80 in southeastern Wyoming, northern Colorado and western Nebraska could get icy. Then things clear out as we get into Thursday night and Friday with a few lingering snow showers possible. 